The first phase of sanctification is called positional sanctification. Positional sanctification. What that means is immediately upon your salvation, you are declared sanctified. What that means is, regardless of your condition, regardless of how, much, how many drugs you've done, how much alcohol you've consumed, how many people you've slept with, how many lies you've told, how much uh, stealing you've done, how much slandering you've done, all those different sins that we continue to preach about for hours. No matter how much of that happens, the moment that you receive Christ as Savior, God sees you under His Son. The moment. Do you read? That's like that's like if we took a criminal who was convicted of murdering forty-five people, stealing, dealing drugs, like anything you could possibly think of, and that person is on trial. The judge has the final verdict, correct? Like it don't matter what the newspaper said. The judge, the judge has the final verdict. If that judge hits that gallet down and says not guilty. Regardless of how much evidence was provided to the contrary, that man is now innocent. When you come to Jesus and you give Jesus your life. And you say, I believe that you died and you rose again and you took care of my sin. And he comes in you. That spirit comes in you. He declares you not guilty. Instantly. Regardless of, of the situation around you, you're innocent. That's positional sanctification. Why? Why is God able to do that? Because what God does is God looks and he, when he sees you, he sees the blood of Jesus. He sees the cross of Jesus Christ. That's why Paul says, I'm not going to boast about anything but the cross. That's not something you hear very often anymore. But I am really proud to say I'm nothing without the cross. Can I get an amen on that one? Amen. 